In what many people consider to be a young man's sport, it's not often that you see a player wait till he is close to retirement before making his mark. Yet fate can be a cruel mistress at times, hampering the careers of otherwise brilliant players through injuries and just bad luck. Today, we take a look at some of the greatest players who, after years of struggle, were able to make it to the pinnacle of the beautiful game. At number one, who else? We have Emiliano Martinez. The Golden Glove winner at the just-ended World Cup needs no introduction at all. Behind all the antics and shithousery, his story is one that can truly bring tears to the eyes of even his biggest hater. At 27, while others were hitting their peak, he was languishing on Arsenal's bench behind Bert Leno, who is Germany's third-choice goalkeeper. In 2018, he did go to the World Cup, but not even as a substitute, he went as a fan. That was how far he was from the national team picture. Fast forward to 2023, he's won a Copa America and a World Cup with Argentina, playing every game and outshining the great Lionel Messi on multiple occasions. He may never be mentioned as the greatest stopper of any generation, but many of the contenders wouldn't mind enjoying the kind of career that he has. Number 2. Karim Benzema Benzema has always been in and around the top tier of European football. A wonder kid in his own right and moved to Real Madrid at a young age was only befitting for the talent he showed in Ligue 1. However, sharing a dressing room with the more mature Cristiano Ronaldo meant that the benchmark was set a little too high and that any performance that he and Gonzalo Higuain put up would always be overshadowed by the mercurial Portuguese. On many occasions it was thought that he would have to leave to go to a team that would make him the focal point, but he never looked for a move. He continued to support Ronaldo and chip in whenever he got the chance. Together, they won four Champions League trophies and then the unthinkable happened. Ronaldo left to join Juventus, leaving Madrid short of a superstar they could truly rely on for goals. And that was when Kareem the Dream came to the fore. Together with Luka Modric, he has captained the new look Real side to new heights, capturing both La Liga and the Champions League last season and finishing as the top scorer in both tournaments. At 34, he has finally achieved his dream of winning the Ballon d'Or and will aim to get as close as possible to CR7 in Madrid's list of all-time goalscorers. Number 3. Jamie Vardy When Jamie Vardy burst onto the scene first under Nigel Pearson and then Claudio Ranieri, many thought that he was in his early 20s. His slight frame and outrageous pace wasn't indicative of a player already in the peak years of his career. His road to stardom was truly one of obscurity, released by Sheffield Wednesday at just 16 and then spending many years in non-league football before Nigel Pearson took a chance at him in 2012. That didn't stop him from realising his Premier League dream in 2016 and being named as the FWA Footballer of the Year and the 2016 Barclays Premier League Player of the Season at the age of 29. Even though some dodgy decision-making by Gareth Southgate left him playing second fiddle to Harry Kane till he called time on his international career, he can take solace in the fact that he was front and centre of the most magnificent season the Premier League has ever seen. Number 4. Ciro Immobile Unlike Vardy, Immobile was thrown into the limelight relatively early, joining Juventus at just 19 years old. But unable to cement a place, he was sent out on loan for three continuous seasons until he left the old lady permanently to join Genoa in 2012. He didn't fare much better there, mustering only five goals but somehow Torino came in for him the next season. That's where he posted the best return of his young career, bagging 22 goals and looking every bit like the player Juventus thought they had signed. But it would take another four years for him to truly come into his own. Stints at Dortmund, Sevilla and again at Torino were very forgettable for Ciro. Lazio proved to be the environment he needed to thrive and in his debut season he rewarded their faith with 26 goals. The next year he managed an astonishing 41 goals and has not looked back since. In 2020 he even beat Ronaldo and Lewandowski to the golden shoe as he topped the European goal chart. It's crazy that he only found his feet at 27 and has kept scoring well into his 30s. Number 5. Didier Drogba His body of work needs no introduction at all. Because he remains an inspiration to many target men in the game today, it's easy to forget that his career almost never took off. At 20 years old, he had still not made his professional debut and at age 24, he ended the season with three goals in Ligue 1. In fact, when Jose Mourinho signed him for Chelsea in 2004, he was 26 and was considered a one-season wonder at Marseille. 
That didn't stop him from dominating Premier League defences for the following years and single-handedly dragging an ageing Chelsea side to Champions League glory in 2012. Today, he's known as Chelsea's greatest ever player, having won four Premier League titles and the Golden Boot twice. Number 6. Luca Toni Luca Toni is an Italian great without a doubt, but did you know that at age 26 he was playing in Serie B with Palermo? 12 years later, he ended up as a Serie A top scorer with 22 goals at the grand age of 38. What a player, and by the way, he's a World Cup winner as well. Number 7. Ivan Perisic Don't let his baby face fool you, Ivan Perisic has been around for donkey's years. After flattering to deceive in Jurgen Klopp's 2012 Dortmund side, he went under the radar for some time until he found his rhythm at Inter Milan. A strong showing in Russia 2018 saw his career finally take off, seeing him playing a defining role in Bayern's 2020 Champions League triumph. At age 33, he's still going strong in Antonio Conte Spurs with no hint of retiring anytime soon. Number 8. Ian Wright For more mature fans, very few players could hold a candle to Ian Wright in his heyday. His career at Highbury was the stuff of legend even though it started pretty late into his life. He signed pro at 21, but he only became a regular with England when he was well into his 30s. Even though his Arsenal goal record was eventually broken by Thierry Henry, he is still highly rated by past and current players alike. Number 9. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer The baby-faced assassin was just that, baby-faced. When he got to United from Mulder, he was already 23 and he still found it very hard to compete for a starting spot. As the years rolled on, he found his place as a super sub and ended up writing his name in English folklore when he scored the winning goal in the dramatic 1999 Champions League final against Bayern Munich. Number 10. Marco Materazzi A fitting spot for a player who could pass as a villain in any movie he starred in. He didn't make his Serie A debut until 24 and he had to wait for his international debut until the age of 28. He went on to win Serie A five times, as well as the Champions League and the World Cup. And there you were, thinking that his only achievement was getting nutted by Zidane. That's all for now guys, if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.